Oh, we're here. Hello. Hi, Internet. What's happening, everyone? Can you? They can hear you. It's Abdallah here, and welcome to the Abdallah Smash Birthday Bash 2020. Yeah. Isn't that cool? Because it rhymes? It does. <laughs> anyway, thanks so much for coming. I figured um, we'd spend a little bit of uh, the last of my birthday just hanging out with you guys. It'd be a really fun time. Thanks so much for uh, watching. If you guys have not seen uh, what Jackbox games are, it's gonna be a really fun time for you guys to interact with us. Um, you guys can play in the audience, you guys can play at home. All you need is really the internet and uh, you gotta go to jackbox.tv and you'll be able to join up. It'll be really easy. So, in order to keep things uh, as under control as possible, um, I do ask that please, if you're gonna be joining in this room, Please don't try any off-the-collar stuff to be funny and edgy. Like, please don't. There's a family-friendly stream here. So I really trust that our members are going to abide by those rules. So, I'll be posting the codes for these rooms in the community tab post. Link to that is going to be in the description. Welcome, uh, Kim from Peachy Peak to Lightning Tier. Hey, that's pretty awesome. Welcome. Thanks so much. So if you guys want to play along with, consider becoming a member. If not, just you can join in the audience. It'll be cool. Anyway, happy birthday birthday it's my birthday it is there are also millions of people with the same birthday millions so i'm not that special you're pretty special all right anyway what are you eating oh what am i eating you're well i went to um i went to a place called la michoacana which is like um a mexican oh my gosh ice cream a mexican ice cream shop and then I've got myself a little bit of yogurt and fruit in a cup. So it's like pina colada yogurt with like whatever fruits and granola on top. Oh, it's a wonderful thing. And Jess has a mango niata right now, which is great. Mm -hmm. What's up, Gotetsu? Welcome. Allie Crane, with the birthday wish, thank you so much. Like this... These super chats are absolutely not necessary. Necessary. The, the fact that you guys are watching and subscribed and have notifications turned on—that's more than enough. Thank you. All right, Christina, Nina, another uh, super chat. Awesome. Thank you. Can't stay. You got work in the morning, but have fun. Happy birthday. Thank you. Welcome to uh, Anna. Upgrading to Fire Flower tier. Awesome. Scythe Master CJ. Happy birthday, Abdallah. Woo. Awesome. And Jessica Grummans. Thank you. Welcome. 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 All of you guys. Thank you. Okay. You guys ready to play? I mean, I'll sit here all day and read Super Chats. That's what you guys want to do. <laughs> Just messing around. Okay, here we go. Oh my gosh. I hope I have this. Let me know if you guys can hear it. Okay, anyway. So allow me to get this room code really quick. And then we're going to get in really quick. And then I'm going to share the room code with you. <clears throat> okay, so we have spots for two, four, six people, and then I think the audience can play in this one. Not really oh, sure. You did it for me. You're yeah. So nice. All right, so here we go. Go take a look at the community tab post. This is going to be available for uh, high tier members. Actually, I'll do I'll do VIP tier and lightning tier members uh, first. So uh, here is. Room one. Uh, the code is going to be A B C D. <laughs> Just kidding, it's not how it works. Uh, lightning tier and higher. Okay, so here we go. You ready for this one? I think we're good. Let's see who gets in. All right, so if you guys are not familiar with the uh, community tab post, you guys can absolutely see. Uh, the code is posted over there. So if you guys want to join us, feel free. Please don't share the code with anyone else. Do me a favor. If you guys are part of that tier. Um, if there's not enough people to fill in, I'll absolutely like give the code to some other people. But uh, we're good. Kim's already here, which is good. You're pretty quick. But we'll give a, we'll give you guys a moment to, to mess around. We got Holy Angel. Romy's in the house. Three more. I don't know. What's up, Sorrow? Taliesin, hey. VGM, Iron Cat, Sora, Colleen, Dawn, Robert, Matthew Fire, David, hi. Uh, S. Luna, Biwa, hello. Hello. Uh, I think I'm going to pass this code to, to someone else. All 
All right, you want this? I want what? <laughs> All right, I'll slap this over to some mods. Logan's here. All right, cool. Alright, mod chat off topic. If you guys want to play. <clears throat> There's two spots for one of you guys if you want. <laughs> Why not? Fight over it. Rock, paper, scissors on who wants to take it. <laughs> Alright, Sarah's in. Good job. Yay. And Biwa. Alright. We got a full team. Everyone's in. And then we got people that can, um, we can now get the audience in, right? So, all of you guys at home, you guys can be a part of the audience now. So, the code is CSFF. You guys can type it into your web browser, whatever, your iPhone, your tablet, your Nintendo Switch, Add maybe. Xbox TV. Yeah, Xbox TV, what? Jackbox TV. Yeah, you go to jackbox.tv on there. And then you type in CSFF, and then we all play, right? There's 165 of you guys hanging out, let's go. Or more than that, I don't know. YouTube's being weird. Okay, we ready? Born ready to fib. All right, the room code is CSFF. You guys can join at any time. We got 56 people in this room, that's pretty good. 59. Anyway. 67, we good? Tell me when to stop. 620 on your end? Yeah, YouTube's weird. It doesn't auto update with how many people are watching, so either way. If there's 620 of you guys, let's go. Let's get this audience packed. All right, get ready. We're just gonna go everyone in. Once we cap at like 100, then I'll go everyone in. We'll go 99. I don't, there is 103. Okay, we'll click on everyone in. No, thank you right now. Sorry, dude. Adopt this cat. I will. Who wants him? Who wants him? Outside of Jess. To break Just that which is him. curse. No. Hey, eight That's seven future losers. And if you're not playing, don't forget you can still join the audience. You can vote on decoy answers to trip up the players, and you get to take a shot at guessing the truth. Let's hit it. I'm not gonna lose. What's up, Amber? Hey, thanks. This thanks for the super chat. You'll get 500 points for fooling the other players with your lies. And you'll get a cool thousand for finding the truth. Those of you guys playing, remember our rules. Okay? Family friendly. Kim D, I trust you guys. I trust my lightning tier members that we're going to keep things uh, family friendly here. And that goes for everyone in the audience. One of the reasons Thomas Jefferson was excited to complete the Louisiana Purchase is because there were rumors of a giant blank on the banks of the Missouri River. Now, use your device to enter a bluff that might just fool your fellow players into thinking it's the truth. All right. If you can't come up with something, use the lie for me button and get a suggestion for half the points. Do it already. Okay, here we go. <laughs> here we go. Thomas Jefferson, excited to complete the Louisiana Purchase because of giant blank on the banks of the Mississippi River. So, in case you guys are wondering, the point of this game is to make up some lies about this to fool other people, and the more people you fool, the more points you get. Okay, these are your choices. Pick the truth on your device now. Money tree? Hmm. Pile of money? Elephant? A mountain made of... Hmm. This one's really tough. A giant whale. <laughs> Some of you guys didn't vote, what? Okay, what did everyone pick? Oh my gosh! Really? Mmm, <laughs> great lie. Yo, the audience. 8% of the audience got that. Yo, really? <laughs> money. <laughs> really, money that's tree. Funny, that is funny, because that's Animal Crossing. Come on, someone. Thank you. Got him! You like that one, huh, Biwa? 
What if this was right? Whoa! Oh man. Really? Uh huh. No way. How do you know that? I didn't. Was that a guess? Yes. Some of you guys in the audience knew it too. How'd you know that? No way. They know all about the salt. Gold mine? Alright, gold nugget, gold vein. Select the category. Villain gimmicks, alright. Alright, here it is. There's a Marvel Comics villain who wears clothes from the 1900s and rides a flying tandem bicycle with a similarly dressed female mannequin. His name, of course, is Blank. Write your lies now. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, good one. I don't have a good one, but um, this is going to be really interesting. I'm curious to see what you guys uh, are putting for this one. Cycle Man! Turner D. Century. <laughs> Carmichael Bicycle, Sebastian Turner? Wait, how do you guys know this? What? The acrobat? Oh my gosh. Let's see what everybody selected. I kind of like logged out. Carmichael Bicycle, 11% of the audience. Okay. I like it. Yeah, you got the rhyme on it. Imposter South. Cycle. <laughs> <Michael Man. laughs> Cycle man. <laughs> Fashion man. <laughs> Fashion man? I don't know. I don't know what his name is. Come on. The alliteration. <laughs> Turner D Century. In Brooklyn, he blends right in. It's Kim Smiley Face, by the way. The colon did not register. No. Oh, <laughs> your last name isn't D. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, it is now. Hey, media time. What's up, VGM? Hey, thank you so much. Celebrity tweet. In May 2014, Martha Stewart tweeted a picture of a cow and wrote, blank. Oh All gosh. Right, <laughs> Martha, Martha Stewart tweeted a picture of a cow and wrote what? I don't know. What, what would Martha, is this like pre-jail era? Martha Stewart in 2014. Is this Snoop Dogg's best friend, Martha Stewart? Yeah, I don't know which Martha Stewart this is. I, I don't know the Martha Stewart timeline. Should. Uh, Leah, what's that. going on? Hey, thank you so much for the birthday wishes. You too, Carly. Yum. I've seen better. Where's the beef? L. Dinner, Tilda. Hashtag dinner. Oh my gosh. Snacks, my ex. I've made my decision. I don't know. I don't know. And what did people pick? Tilda? Uh, what if Tilda wins? Maybe that's her cow's name. <laughs> Where's the beef? She's probably old enough to know what that means. My ex. Yum. Yum. I've seen better. Wow. <laughs> I'm so, why would you say that? Yo, that hashtag life. 
Regular dinner. Oh, wow. wow. Stolen. <laughs> L. Are you kidding me? <laughs> if you don't get Martha, that's on you. Vanna Babes, hey, thank you for the super chat. A little super sticker with a pink cake. Oh man, I got my pink cake in the form of this yogurt right here. Thank you. Yo, where's the beef? <laughs> that was a good one. On to round two, where all point values are doubled. That was good. Oh, cool. Time to pick a category. Let's do some fog, dude. What you guys know about fog, dude? Try this one. Okay. At the San Francisco restaurant Quince, one can order the dish named A Dog in Search of Gold, which is white truffle croquettes served on blank. Okay, enter your lies. <sighs> I don't know what a croquette is. Is that like... No, I'll have to look that up really quick. White truffle croquettes served on... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Uh-oh. What? I don't know. Okay, here are your choices. Creamed corn, mashed potatoes, a bed of lettuce, a pile of garbage, a brick of gold, an iPad, risotto, gold plate, stew. Mm. On a gold plate? That's actually a really good idea. Oh my gosh. A pile of garbage? Why would you eat a pile of garbage, though? I love this part. I don't want to sway, but that was really good, right? In search of gold, it's on gold, right? Stew. <laughs> Eleven percent of the audience, a pile of garbage. I got some points. That's pretty good. Risotto, tasty, right? No. Dang, no one even knows what risotto is, apparently. Yo, cream corn? Oh, <laughs> good job. That's good. Ah. Mm, mashed potatoes is right. That was a good one. Uh, head of lettuce. That's a very it better one. not be. Are you kidding me? I refuse to eat off last year's model. That's gross sounding. How would you wash that? Do you, you need to keep the iPad when you're done? I don't know. An iPad? <laughs> what? What in the actual world? All right, Romy, pick something good. An iPad, no one got that one. Actually, some people in the audience did. Okay, we don't have all day. A croquette can be translated as a nugget from and French. And the question is, the Federal Aviation Administration is the only U.S. government agency that has its own blank. Answer your lies now. I had two things that I wanted to put, but I, I had zero things I wanted to okay, put. Okay, so. find the truth. Line of socks, theme song, pilot, gold toilet, branded logo, food truck, pigeon mascot, pigeon mascot, foosball table or flag. Oh god, uh, these are all really good ones. I like a lot of these. You can like them. Mm-hmm. Alright, who picked what? I mean, a government agency? Only one that has a flag? Uh, I don't know about that. See, that one was my second choice. Dang it. What was your first choice? My first choice was, um, I was gonna say... Private Jet. Mm. Private Jet, because it's, it's the FAA. 
Yeah, but the president has his Air Force One plane. Mm, that's true. Line of socks. Are you kidding oh, me? I liked that one. How did the audience do that? <laughs> what if? That's not true. Oh, no. I thought the last one was so Are you bizarre. kidding me? No. Oh, no. It's <laughs> a good one, though. Theme song? You got it, huh? I guess so. Damn. How'd you guys know that? I'm just going to assume it's the theme from Wings. All right, no Googling on the side either with an extra tab open and like typing this stuff out, all right? I see you, Sarah. I see your second You're tab the open. You're in first place. Okay, pick a category. I see your tab open. <laughs> I see your LG dual screen <laughs> with one tab open. <laughs> okay, here's the question. In 2012, the Canadian Mint put the fun back in capitalism by releasing a 25 cent coin that featured blank. Type in your lies now. Canada. Canada. What do we know about Canada, everyone? Not enough. <laughs> All right, where's the truth? The carnival man, maple syrup, a knock knock joke, kids in the hall, smiling elephant, glow in dark dinosaur, Tony the tiger, maple leaf, an embedded smaller coin. Oh my gosh, a coin with a coin? Who the heck's carnival man? It's definitely not kids in the hall, but <laughs> that's funny. You're gonna get a thumbs up from me. I got kicked out. Okay, let's take a look. What the heck is Carnival Man? Are you kidding me? Who wouldn't vote Maple Leaf? Get out of here, it's so clever. <laughs> the kids in the, commemorative coin from the kids of the hall? It could be. I, I would know. want one. Knock knock joke? Oh, close, close, close. Let's see. An embedded smaller coin. What if? Oh my uh, gosh, how audience. do you guys. Getting you. Wait, how is the audience even voting? There's 250 of them. How does that work? Tony the Tiger? <laughs> you got points for Tony the Tiger? A smiling elephant? No. Yes. I was gonna say. <laughs> The carnival man, I was about to say. Apparently, it's a glow in the dark dinosaur. How do you know this, Kim? <laughs> Kim, where your last name's not actually starting with D? How do you know that? Jet Lynch, welcome. Join in on the action, yeah? I don't know. I can't seem to win this one. It's time for the final fibbage. One last question, and it's worth triple. Good luck. Is Albert it? Einstein once claimed that his second greatest idea after the theory of relativity was to put blank in blank. All right, type in your lies. I need more time. I don't know. I didn't do too hot. I didn't do too hot on that one. Like whenever there's two of them, like two different blanks, that's a, a really, really hard thing. So I hope you guys got some really good stuff. Something to fool me and to fool this audience here. Okay, take a look and find the truth. Peanut butter and chocolate, sugar and coffee, coffee, electricity and homes, logic and science, popcorn, chocolate and popcorn. What's in my head? Ideas in motion, syrup in his tea and egg in his soup. <laughs> what are these food ones? I don't know. But I picked one Ideas of them. in motion. An egg in soup? What? 
That sounds good. Ah, thank like you, Internet. Like egg drop soup? All right, let's see what everybody picked. That was actually good. <laughs> Everything's just, like food related. No way. Wow, that was killer. All right, that was game changer. Is everyone hungry at home? <laughs> peanut butter inside chocolate. Yeah, he invented Reese's peanut butter. What is this? The non, the other non-food one, and no one votes for it. I think because that was already done. It's true. Syrup in his tea. Come on. No way. Are you okay. kidding me? How do you know that? I didn't. It just seemed like something he would like. Why? An I egg don't and know. Soup. We're best friends. Thinking about like science and all of his stuff that he did. Whoa! Dang! Round of applause. Thank you. Good job. Round of applause for Jess. I have my good luck Oreo cat. I know mm -hmm. my lap the whole time. I fib the best. Dang, Sarah with that comeback on that last round. Mm-hmm. Worst liar, Logan. <laughs> what? Most gullible. Comedian. That was pretty cool. Did you guys enjoy that? Mm -hmm. Fibbage was fun. Okay, that was actually really fun. Give me a thumbs up in the comments if you enjoyed that. That was fun to kind of uh, sit back and play around. We could play another game. One of my favorite ones is Survive the Internet. You guys want to do that one? Sure, it's your birthday. Yeah, let's do it. Ba -dum -ba -dum. Survive the Internet's my favorite game. Family friendly, uh, and the audience can play. So in case you guys are just coming onto the stream, welcome. Thank you for all the birthday wishes. I know that you guys are saying it. But uh, we have the members only chat on right now, so. Okay. Y'all ready? Okay, so we're gonna do the exact same thing. I'm gonna slap this, um... Uh, I do want to instill the rule, if you already played before, if you already played before, do me a favor and sit out. Don't be the person to room hog and jump in a whole bunch of times, because it's not fair to all the other people that want to play. Alright, if you guys are cool with that, give me a thumbs up and we can join this. Alright, y'all ready? Okay. So, no, um, no people that are room hogs, please do not, don't be that guy. Ever. Okay, so I'm in. Are you in? Okay, Jess is in. We have one, two, three, four, five, six people. I'm gonna jump into the um, the community tab over here. We're gonna do this to Fireflower tier and higher. So that means that uh, pretty much anyone Fireflower tier or higher, you got a chance of doing this. Um, and I'm gonna throw in the code right over here, Jackbox.tv. And then enter this code if you are ready. So here we go. Enjoy. Let's see who's going to come in. I'm going to hide this and we're going to hopefully get this going. Fireflower tier or higher. Let's see what's up. Wow. They're just waiting there, huh? Kutetsu's in here. Iron Cat's in here. Megan and James. Who's James? James, show yourself in the chat. And Megan, you too? Iron Cat Sawyer is easy. Like, that's obviously your, your name. Anyone? Oh, here we go. Dawn Marie and Samantha. So who's who? You guys got to uh, say hi in the comments. <laughs> I'm waiting for you. James is James Loves Puppies. James is James Loves Puppy 19. Yes, good. Contest is on his phone. Great. Uh, I, I only see like the same couple people chatting, but all right, whatever you guys are here. Welcome 
Two. Okay. We got a full game. Wow. Samantha I feel like I should have a check mark next to my name. Samantha might be Samantha Bolton and Megan H. Okay, who's Don Marie then? Mikey's tagline. Let's do this. I could have sworn I saw a Don. There we go. There's Don Marie. Hi. What's up? Hey there. I'm Todd, but you probably know me by my screen name, Todd the Party Animal 14. Here's a quick but skippable tutorial. The code's in the top corner. Hey guys, what's up? Party Boy 7. Here to There's the code in case you guys want to join in the audience. Feel free. You guys are more than welcome to. On your device. Go ahead and answer it. Those responses will then be sent to another player. The objective is to twist these words in the most ridiculous way possible. So if my friend Paul said selfie sticks are, quote, super dumb, then I would take him out of context. Say we're on a news site. Their super dumb would be an outrageous comment to what headline? Oh, I got it. Everybody then votes on whose comment looks the most absurd. I get rewarded for writing the twist, and Paul gets some pity points for looking foolish. Person with the most points at the end of the game wins. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Please. <laughs> I feel so empty inside. Anyway, Things you guys can that. join Jackbox.tv. HZPW is the code. And again, remember, those of you guys that are in here, I trust that you guys will do family friendly. I don't want to sound like a broken record, but don't be that person. So Thank you. You should be seeing a prompt on your controller. There are no wrong answers, so just answer honestly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm curious of what your um, your prompts are. Dolphin Squared, what's going on? Everything's good, man. Just kind of uh, finishing off the night with uh, hanging out with you guys. Another player's comment has been sent to your device. Twist their words in the funniest way possible. <laughs> okay, you have 50 seconds, so take your time. I don't know. How, well, how did you think about that one? Mm. You got anything good? Mm -hmm. Me neither. You gotta work on your prompts, people. Just well, kidding. Goes nothing. Find someone your own age, Gramps. No, you, lol. Mm. Remember, it's a video title, right? Isn't it? I like them better than horses. My beautiful baby. That's kind of funny. Because the top one's supposed to be a video title. Yeah, it's super bad. Comment. Hilarious church sermon. That's a good, and then this is supposed to be an outrageous comment on a video title. Not very good. Local man rescues five kittens from a burning house. Not very good. Kotetsu, dang, what's wrong with you? You don't like kittens? Make America great again? Like that's gonna happen. Application to live on the moon. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Extremely horrible, weird, and interesting. Eating yummy bugs. <laughs> what? Okay. Super awesome. I hate pop music. <laughs> okay. <laughs> They're so cute. Christmas morning with the fam. I guess. Okay. <laughs> 
<laughs> the most ridiculous here. So, like, who actually man. read the instructions? <laughs> I like a couple of them. <laughs> My beautiful baby. I like them better on horses. <laughs> like, you're watching a video about someone's beautiful baby. And then you're just in the comment section saying, Yeah, put that baby on a horse. <laughs> I hate music. I hate pop music. Thanks. Super awesome. Audience, what do you think? What did you guys like? 28%? Mm, interesting, interesting. I like the moon one. That one was pretty good. It was. I mean, it's like a little borderline political, but... I like the moon part. Not the other part. Oh, okay. Who should I be the most proud of? Gotetsu, are you a cat guy? Or a dog guy? Okay, let's move on. Let's go to, uh... Jump in, the code is HZPW. Online store, table. It's super flat. <laughs> your second prompt is being sent to your device. Please answer it. <laughs> so this is the part of the game where you you set up you're dribbling and your partner is over there in basketball and you set up the pass the alley oop. <laughs> so are we going to get any alley oops over here? With some fun stuff. Thanks everyone. Kotetsu likes them both fairly. All right, cool. You're a dog and a cat person. Thanks for all the birthday wishes, everyone. Thank you. Welcome. Welcome to the stream. Thanks for hanging out this evening. I don't know who that green... Oh, that's Samantha. Oh, did... Samantha, did you get kicked out? You can join in with you by typing in that code again. I hope this inspires you. Take this quote out of context so it makes its author look ridiculous. seconds. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's hilarious. What's up, Sierra? Don't see you too often. How are you? Today was a good one. Joss, want to tell everyone what happened I've after this next round? About this. So clean and fresh. Tip $5 afterwards. Smack and clean. That's the product. It's called smack and clean. Big. We'll get it canceling noise. Mom Simulator 2020. <laughs> what? Like the mom's yelling at you and canceling <laughs> all the noise? I don't like the Titanic. It's so big you can't lose your grandma on there. Titanic toilet. What? <laughs> Slow processing speed. A quantum computer. <laughs> okay. Slow is subjective, right? Cheesy and triangular. Poster of <laughs> Faith Hill. <laughs> <laughs> what? I don't know, but it's funny. Only good cooked. Mmm. Totally raw cookbook. And these are the reviews that you're writing on the product. Super sweet and nasty. Super nasty cookies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I mean, that's a good review, right? 
It was small and full of clothes. The hut of what? Interesting. Smack and clean mom simulator? Titanic absurd. toilet. I don't like the Titanic. It's so big you can lose your grandma on there. Totally raw cookbook. Poster of Faith Hill. A quantum computer with slow processing speed. Super nasty cookies. A poster of Faith Hill. The hut of what? How's my birthday? Team man, it's good now that you're here. <laughs> and here are the results. Wow. Dang. Big but good. At yeah, best burn baby mom sim 2020. <laughs> what was your prompt? Big, Thanks. but... Uh, describe your headphones. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm yeah. thinking about the ones I wear that you gave me. I'm working. What is this game called, Claire? It's called Jackbox. I think this is Jackbox Party Pack 4 on Nintendo Switch. News site. There's like six of them? Yeah, Soon to be seven? More. Who knows? It's time to answer another prompt. I'd like you to really listen to your heart this time. Remember, alley oop, right? Surf him up. Soup's hot. <laughs> they want to know what you did today. What did I do today? Oh, Jess, you have to explain. We went for a walk. We went for a walk. Mm -hmm. And nothing out of the ordinary happened on this walk. Okay, so we've been going to a lot of nature preserves and taking walks, but it's been raining here frequently. And so we went for a walk in a neighborhood, a couple neighborhoods over. And it was not paved. Um, and it was very muddy. Mm -hmm. We saw some deer, though. Yeah. That was exciting. To be continued. And now you'll never know. Okay, get those creative juices flowing. Uh, Parapio, you have the same birthday as me? Happy birthday. Oh, welcome. And Momo, hi. Ah, oh, come on, I could have added the cherry on top to that one. Dang it, I rushed it. Time management. See how this pans out. Heck yeah, I'll eat that any time of the day. Eat what? I hate fish. This is... It's the newspaper article, you gotta... Alright. <laughs> Pretty sure they're not real. Mom gave birth to twins! <laughs> See, that's good. Because the top one's a newspaper article and there's a comment on it. I hate weddings. Why? Because you're not able to catch the bouquet? Uh... What kind of time frame is that? You have 24 hours to get rid of the contents of your sock drawer. Okay. <laughs> Did you see these? Not yet. Away. How's the fam? A cruel one help. Tired and happy that I'm done with a awesome thing. Report. Most dogs are good boys. <laughs> Most beautiful and sweet sold. 
Area man drops his ice cream <laughs> cone. <laughs> <laughs> Area man! Is that... They make me want to puke. Anti-nausea drug passed by the FDA. They make me want to puke. See, that's clever. Area man versus local man. Who would win in a fight? Do your civic duty and vote now. Eat what? I hate fish! There's a lot of good ones here. Most dogs are good boys. <laughs> Anti-nausea drug passed by the FDA. They make me wanna puke. See, that's so, that's clever on so many levels. <laughs> so clever on so many levels. Who wrote that one? Is that me? Am I just toot my own horn? Wow, I crushed it. Yo, 68%. Dawn Marie wrote that one? Nice job, Dawn Marie. Wow! Oof. Mom I'm gave birth to twins. You. Pretty sure they're not real. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's actually hilarious. I did the FDA one. Let's check out oh, sport, did you? Shall we? Dawn Marie, like, completely owned me with that last one. I even voted for that. Me too. And our last stop of the game will be at, uh... Photo sharing site. The points are worth double this round, so literally anything can happen. All right, I gotta come back. It's anyone's game. This is my favorite part. Okay. All right, Dawn Marie. Last opinion in <laughs> Get ready. Uh, Nicholas, hey, thank you for the super chat. And Momo, thank you. Uh, I saw that super chat come on through. Uh, forever, my favorite channel slash streamer. Forever. Okay, that's a long time. I'm I'm gonna remember that. Forever. Oh, yeah, that's right. Some person got kicked out, unfortunately. Womp womp. It happens. It's okay. So we were going for a walk. And we saw some deer. And it was quite lovely. It was very muddy, and then we got to this part, right by a little bridge in a creek. And there's a very steep, muddy slope. Mm hmm. And then to be continued. What happened to the steep, muddy slope? The suspense is killing me. It's time to take the gloves off. Really go for it this time. seconds. All right. You want to you want to say your uh, the rest of the story in 20 seconds? So we got to this part and I fell down the steep and slippery slope and then I was covered in mud and my phone was covered in mud our map was covered in mud, and I was covered in mud, mm -hmm. and it was great fun for everyone. So then I was like, let's just take the short way back. And I was it like, no, we to have this. to take the long way back. To be continued. Pizza! Oh, pepperoni, my favorite kind of grease. <laughs> <laughs> no, no jo jokes about the pork? All right, you guys must not know me. Jess, ooh, dang. Guess what I spent $25 on at the new restaurant this morning, <laughs> hashtag winning. $25 for avocado toast. James! What if Spider Man swang by? Swang. Swang, swang. Swung? Swinged? Swang. Kotetsu. And I look took. the road. Oh, and I took the road less traveled. Yeah, yeah. I took the road less traveled. You gotta go through the, the dandelions. Megan! This is the best steak ever. <laughs> You know, that's familiar, like someone's done that one before. 
like in our group of friends. Iron Cat, look at these apples. I love mangoes. <laughs> Farm girl. Okay. Do you live in a ghost house? Weirdo. Wait, do you live in a ghost house, weirdo? Hold on. Hashtag here with my pets, they are everywhere. Like you're crazy because they're invisible pets? <laughs> Must be. Okay, go ahead and cast those ballots. <laughs> Took the roll, let's travel. $20 overpriced avocado toast. Some of you guys know what that's all about. The best steak which is not a steak, mangoes, which are not mangoes, and invisible pets, Spider-Man. I know, I got time, I got time. I gotta like, I gotta ponder. Do you live in a ghost house, weirdo? <laughs> no. Like, is that, are you addressing, are you calling me a weirdo? I think so. Okay. My favorite kind of grease. <laughs> That's funny. How dare Let's you. Who got the votes. <laughs> really? Interesting. I voted for that one. What one? Megan's. I voted for Megan's too. My favorite kind of grease. Ugh. Holy mackerel. What? I thought the grease Hashtag won that one. Why? Because girl. of the audience? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. It all comes down to this. Yeah, I didn't do so hot. Oh my gosh! Who wins the games? What the heck? How's this feel? Does it feel weird? Yeah, it's like, what is this feeling? Yeah. And here's where the winners go. Whoa. <laughs> Dang. What'd you guys think of that one? Was that fun? Mm -hmm. Thumbs up in the comment if you enjoyed that. So because we needed to get the full two miles in, I said we have to go the long way on the walk. So we were going the long way on the walk, and then the path got... Did you tell them that I... I vehemently said, no, we need to get out of this forsaken forest, so let's take this shortcut out of here. And you insisted that we take the long way. Did we you tell that detail? We have to get our steps you in. You don't have to get your steps in. Yes, when you're in a have... lost, muddy forest, you don't have to get any steps in besides, the steps, in besides the steps to your car. No, 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 you have to get your steps in. So I was already covered in mud. I wasn't gonna give up. It was like one more mile the long way. So I said, let's go. We can do this. Suck it up. And so we, we start walking the long way. And and it starts the the path starts to shrink. And it starts to get um like covered in what's that noise? Brush. Oh, it's the water. So it starts to get covered in like, you know, weeds and stuff. And we get to this point where the choice is going to what looks like a path this way or what looks like a path this way. The problem with the path this way, which was probably the right choice, was it was like this steep. It was just straight down mud. Mm -hmm. And well, I could have just sat and slid down it because I was already covered in mud, Abdallah had yet to fall down. Mm -hmm. So we didn't do that. Um, we went the other way. And the path ended, and we kept going, and there was some water. We had to cross the water. Mm -hmm. and <laughs> it was a mess. Essentially, lost in the woods, just started going straight. Abdallah had Pokemon Go open, so he was going towards the gym in the mm -hmm. parking lot. Yep. So that was that. Covered so we got lost in, mud. in the woods. Just covered in mud. And Pokemon Go saved us. But we got our steps in because we ended up making a perfect two miles back to the car. Even though our goal was three miles, so I guess we really didn't get our steps in. But we got most of them. And we got them all for the whole day. We're all good. Okay, type this code in. Okay. All right, so we're going to play something called Bracketeering. Where is it? I like this one. Because there could be a lot of players. <sighs> there could be 16 players. This one's actually really fun. I like this. Okay, so here we go. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. Good. We're going to do this one again to Fire Flower and Up. Okay, so we got to wash off in the parking lot because there was a this thing. Mm -hmm. I don't know what that's called. 
What's that called? It's called a water pump. A water pump? That seems too easy. All right, here we go. Now I'm going to put the code. I'm going to put the room code in the community tab. Remember, if you guys are going to be joining up in the game, there's like, what, 14 more slots for you guys. Just do me a favor, and if you already played in one, do me a favor and sit out so that other people can play. And then number two, keep it family friendly. Got it? Good. I'm trusting you guys. Here we go. All right, go ahead. Click on refresh. You guys have the code. Type it in. Who's going to be the fastest? You're going to get a shout out. Dang, run. I will. Yo, I'm running. What's up, Jay Lakers? I think I know who Zoe is. But now I'm really sore. It would do that to you. I guess falling down a mudslide would do that to you, huh? Who's Hall? Oh, I know who Hall is. Yeah, who's who? If you guys who are in the are comments. You? If you guys are in the comments. Apparently, S-T-E is Stephanie. Yeah, Stephanie Enoch. Enoch is there. If you guys can type your three initials over there so we know who's who, that'd be really fun. Okay, so Eric is E-R-R. -R. Cool. Uh, your Kara, K-A-R. Oh, your car. Okay, <laughs> car. Vroom, <laughs> <laughs> vroom. So Holy Angel is Hall. You got like four more spots, guys. Yeah, and try not to room hog too, if you already played in any of the previous games. I'm not gonna kick anyone out now, but just, you know. Okay, okay. It's good. It's done. All right, here we go. Um, I'm gonna go into mod chat. And uh, yeah, mods, if you guys want to like rock, paper, scissors on the four slots, feel free, you guys can play along with. I don't know who's all here. H. Fenton, Biwa. I don't know if uh, S. Luna's here anymore, but I slapped that code in there. You guys are more than welcome to join in. Hefe. El Hefe? El Hefe is here. <clears throat> Look at this good boy cat. Yeah, that's my seat. No, that's a cat. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's Ori. Oreo. You guys are fine. You can come on in. All the mods, the more the merrier. You guys are exempt from the rule. Because <laughs> it's more fun that way. Who's all here? Biwa! We got three more peeps. Anyone else watching at home? Have access to the uh, community tab post? The code is on the community tab. All the information is in the description. Try hitting refresh if you don't see it. All right, here we go. All right, I'm gonna put this on. Now we're gonna open it up to everyone. Here we go, all channel members. For the last three spots, who's going to be the fastest for the last three spots? Ready, set, go, fingers. Ready, set, go. Doing. Last three spots, here we go. Boom, Ben, Zip, and Matt. All right, y'all ready for this? Ben, Zip, and Matt? I don't know who's who, but let's play. Bracketeering. We've got big fun waiting to be unleashed. We'll be posing some of life's most important questions. Your answers <laughs> will be paired off in a no-holds-barred tournament. Abuela. Votes will determine which answers advance in the bracket. As we whittle down to our championship winner, this is Bracketeering. I'm sending the topic of our first bracket to your devices now. Most satisfying thing to angrily throw into the mouth of a volcano. Enter your answers now. Type in the best answer you can think of and hit send. If your answer wins the entire bracket, you'll be rolling in moolah. By the way, you can join the audience and play along. <laughs> the most satisfying thing to angrily throw into the mouth of a volcano. I want to see some creativity with these, all of you guys. Time's running out. What's up, Abby? Abby to the fire flower tier, what's up? Oh no, I didn't get in on time. Oh no, neither did 
a lot of these people. And that was faster than I thought it was going to be. Our fortune at the prediction table. On your device, you'll see one of the upcoming matchups for this bracket. If you can predict the answer that will get the most votes, you'll earn some sweet, sweet moolah. Wow. I need to get us a drink. Okay, cool. Maybe here. Yes, please. Thank you. Uh, Abby, welcome to the Fire Flower tier. Thank you so much. Hopefully we get you in next game. I like bracketeering. This one's it's really fun. To dive into our first bracket. Oh boy. Tom Hanks, that annoying neighbor, your tax returns, fire extinguishers. But don't forget, if you change your mind, you can change your vote. Your tax returns? Why would you throw your tax returns in there? They're already filed. Tom Hanks? What's wrong with Tom Hanks? That was a clash of the titans. That annoying neighbor, yeah. He's terrible. I know him. Oh, that was you? Oh, you predicted it right. Okay, okay. Thanks. That annoying neighbor. My ex, the ring to rule them all. <laughs> uh, your old hockey trophies, a list of your failures. There's clearly a winner there, There's guys. clearly. Some of you are not seeing it this really way. Really? Interesting. Oh. Who is all voting? Is this the audience voting? Yeah. Yo, the audience is powerful. My ex. This guy's not hobbits. That's like, it's called murder. <laughs> All y'all murderers out there. Angrily throw them in there? Dang, what do they do to you? What do we see what's going on on the One other ring side to rule the them all is yeah. so good. Yeah, right? Gold, slime, dynamite, or voodoo dolls? I don't know why I that one. Uh, well, I don't, I, no I guess. I don't know, like if you throw dynamite in there, it's a volcano. You're gonna cause it to erupt even further and you're gonna kill all the people nearby. Y'all murderers! <laughs> Y'all murderers. Dynamite, okay. Voodoo Dolls is also a murderer too, like if they're linked to someone's soul. Block of Ice, Mario Kart Tour ranked mode. <laughs> my boyfriend, some old bottle rockets. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Who did that? Some of you guys know me too well. Screenshot that. Hashtag MKT moment right here. <laughs> they would love that. Wow. Yeah, here. Unbelievable, you guys. Before we get on to round two, it's time to make another prediction. <sighs> Alright, predict this. You've got a new matchup waiting for you on your device. I think that's an easy prediction. <laughs> Wait, there's only 135 of you guys in the audience. Get in here. What are you guys waiting for? Go click on jackbox.tv, type in like E G N Z, and play along, man. You guys are totally <laughs> Changing these right here. There's 800 of you guys and only 140 in the audience. Okay. Time's running out. Let's go. Play along with. Cast your votes. All right, Shaw. At the prediction table. Let's jump back to our bracket for round two. That annoying neighbor. This is all committing murder. Nothing has come easy so far for either of these answers. Really? Tell me about your annoying neighbors in the comments. Like, what do they do? They, they refuse to social distance? Yes. <laughs> They're immune to COVID, man. Get out of here. They're immune, man. Let them be. Let them be, right? Anyway. None of that. Finals are just a win away from these next two answers. Okay, Dynamite or Mario Kart Tour ranked mode. I am obviously going to pick one of them. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow, the most satisfying thing to angrily throw in the mouth of a volcano. 
Dang. Yo, big prediction money. All right, you guys are putting the place, placing those bets. All right, here we go. That annoying neighbor. What is the most satisfying thing to angrily throw into the mouth of a volcano? There's, there can only be one winner. As much as I dislike Mario Kart Tour ranked mode, it's going in that volcano. Sorry. I don't care what your neighbor does. Your neighbor doesn't f make you feel as frustrated as I do. <laughs> MKT funny moment, right? MKT moment. Wow, look at that. Dang. Mm, I'm playing the audience here. Well, the game's not over yet. We got like more rounds. Ooh, wow. That's some big money. All right, car. Car's coming at me. My boyfriend. The ring to rule them are for uh, the ring to rule them Stephanie? all from Stephanie, right? That was, that was good. Very good. I'm it's surprised I didn't go as far. I wanted it too. All you'll be given is the category. Name any video game character. Are you kidding me? It's like they made the game for you. I know, right? Write the first thing that comes to mind. We'll see the real bracket title after the answers are all in. <laughs> Name any video game. This one's hard because this is playing on favorites. People's favorites. Like, okay, do you like Mario or Luigi? Alright, like, who's that gonna be? So, interesting. Who's gonna pick Mario? Who's gonna pick Luigi? Who's gonna pick Princess Peach? How many Marios are we gonna see? And we're gonna see a whole bunch of Marios. Let's see what this and two people didn't vote. Really about. Most deserving of being played by Tom Hanks in a new movie trilogy. <laughs> Wait, what? They switched it! To get in those predictions. Most deserving of being played by Tom Hanks in a new movie trilogy? <laughs> so they switched it on us. It's not it's going to be. Bracket. Yeah, I know. I have to explain it to people. Oh. I've played this game before. I got confused about you. 800 you, you people may not me. may not have played There's it. 800 so 800 people here? Yeah. The um Hello. Hi everyone. So, like we all thought we were gonna do like Mario vs. Luigi, but no, those answers that we put are most deserving of being played by Tom Hanks in a new movie trilogy. Chief, Leon, Toddy Bugatti, generic avatar? Well, Chief is like the Animal Crossing, um, the fox. Leon is from uh, Resident Evil. Toddy Bugatti is Toad, and Generic Avatar. What color? That could be any Toad. Generic Avatar. Well, that's a that's a video game character. Surprised that went pretty far. Good job. My vote was on Bugatti. I voted for Chief. Chief. Okay, here we go. Spyro, Toad, Mario, Toddy, Bugatti. Twice, huh? Yo, he's coming for a comeback. Toddy Bugatti. Most deserving of being played by Tom Hanks. The Tom Hanks. The Autumn Shank is gonna play Toad with a mushroom on his head in a movie trilogy. Three times at least. Tom Hanks is the star. He's gonna play Mario. Wait, wait, wait. What? Mario's gonna... Hold on. Yeah. Okay, I guess. Yeah, that's fine. Mario's good. It's cool and all, but... Let's see what tensions are mounting over in the Omega Conference. Lara Croft, Link, Yudin, Yellow Birdo. <laughs> what? Are you kidding me, Link? You have Yellow Birdo on the screen. Dang. That's a tough one. It's over. Lonk wins. Decisive victory. All right, good job, Link. Oh, it was for Yellow Birdo. What? Who the heck is Yudin? Mr. Aseti, Pikachu, Yoshi, or Yoshi? 
<laughs> well, first Yoshi, uh, Mr. Rossetti. Most deserving of being played by Tom Hanks. I would love to see Tom Hanks as Mr. Rossetti. Yudin is the protagonist from Dragalia Lost. People play that game still, huh? How much money is that making Nintendo every month? I haven't checked out uh, Sensor Tower recently. Millions still, right? Some of our predictors. Before we get on to round two, it's time Yo, Yellow Birdo lost against Link. It's a bad matchup. Bad seeding. I gotta play some bets here. Most deserving of being played by Tom Hanks in a new movie trilogy. Mm -hmm. Tom Hanks as either Link or Rossetti. <laughs> well, obviously, a movie trilogy. I don't know. You guys vote. Who's Shaw? Oh, Shaw must have gotten uh, disconnected. Time to step away from the prediction table. Let's jump back to our bracket for round two. Generic Avatar versus Mario. I think that's pretty easy. That's one side. I think. Yeah, I'm pretty safe to say. Yeah, that's a sweep. Tom Hanks with a Mario hat on? And a mustache? And a mustache? That would be really cool. That would be awesome. I would watch it. I would watch all three of the movies. I love Tom Hanks. And Tom Hanks plays actually all the characters. Yeah, he plays uh, Princess Peach and Bowser. This could be the answer to beat, but let's check out the competition. Link or Mr. Rossetti? I don't know, that's tough. See, if he plays as Mr. Rossetti, he has to be halfway dug underground half, half of the time. Link? I mean, he's up for a new movie with a sword? And a princess? Just and magic? No, really? Okay. I voted for Mr. Rossetti, Get but I want to see it the other way. Dang, who said Mr. Rossetti? I don't know, I think that's... Is Biwa? I think that was Biwa. No, Biwa probably said Chief. And now the final face-off. What video game character mm. is most deserving of being played by Tom Hanks? Rossetti or Mario? Oh, that's a tough one. Oh my gosh, you guys are insane. Mario or Mr. Rossetti? In three movies? What's Mr. Rossetti gonna do? Yell and complain all time? Like, what does he do? Sorry. I'm going Mario. I don't know, man. That's, a, that's, a, that's actually close. As much as I love Mr. Rossetti, like, I don't know. Biwa said Mr. Rossetti, what? Nice job. Good job. Who said Chief, though? Let's take know. another peek at the scoreboard. Pikachu. What did you <laughs> say? I said Yellow Birdo. Oh, no wonder you were fighting. I was so fighting much. for Yellow Birdo. I really was. Dang, Biwa got mad points off of that one, Mr. Rossetti. Holy cow! Very nice job. Dang. Two people with Toddy Bugatti. Time for the finale, the triple blind bracket. This bracket will change every single round. Here's your starting category. Name any movie. Who knows what crazy twists and turns this Name any take? movie. Running out. Bet. You didn't get. Oh, you didn't get one in. No. Three times a day, every day for the rest of your life. Time to get three times every day for the rest of your life. That's like at least six hours. Just watching this, the best movie. Cash is doubled this round, so make these choices count. Uh, wow. 
Wow. There's some tough choices that we're coming up with. What is happening? Six hours Don't of your life out. every day, just the rest of your life watching the same movie. Cut Berto Jimenez. Hey, welcome. Welcome, brand new member. How are you? Welcome. Up first. My head's kind of in the way. Spider-Man Homecoming Avengers Endgame? Penguins of Madagascar Iron Man. Oh man, wow. You guys are all in like in the same thing. Penguins of Madagascar? Who are you people? Really? Oh my gosh. Look at how close that is. Yo, change your votes, Iron Man. <laughs> the peng what is that? Is that a documentary? I've never seen that. Is that that's not Happy Feet, right? No, that's, that's like the Madagascar movie. Um, Wait, the Penguins of Madagascar. Is that the animated short? Moving on to our next Tom Hanks <laughs> is Rossetti, Pride and Prejudice, Spirited Away, Harry Potter. Spirited Away, the movie you're trying to talk to me about today? No, that's Fly Away Home. Tom Hanks is Rossetti is not a movie! It is now! <laughs> It's not a movie! I just backed it. This is a Kickstarter for Tom Hanks is Rossetti. Well, you can flip that flappity. Tom's. It says Tom's Hanks! <laughs> that's not even him! That's like the, that's like the knockoff that you, that you get on the store. It's like a little a bootleg disc mm. called Tom's Hanks. Let's see what's happening over on the other side of the bracket. The Titanic Saving, saving Private Ryan. The Dark Knight. Pee Wee Herman's Big Adventure! <laughs> Yo, the Dark Knight all day! Three times a day. Three times a day. Yo, Pee Wee Herman? We're learning so much Who about the internet. Who are you guys? Really? You would honestly watch Pee Wee really Herman. I'm really happy, but sad because that's not the one I voted for. That was a slaughter. Half of you guys don't even know who that is. <laughs> oh my gosh. Do you know what? No, anyway. Wow, Pee Wee Herman though. All right, all right. It's time to round out the bracket. With this My Hero Academia 2, 12 Angry Men Star Wars, or Super Mario Bros. movie? Yo, with John Linguizamo? Yeah, dude, and did you see the Goomba and the Toads? The Come on, man. Star Wars, which one? Just running out the clock now. I think that's cheating, Star Wars. You gotta specify that. If Star Wars Episode 1, no one would have voted for it. For Star Wars Episode 1, no one likes Episode 1. Yeah, that's kind of like... Interesting. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Uh, worst pick for a child's movie theater experience. <laughs> oh my gosh. I swear. Episode 1 out of all the Star Wars movies? I think it's unanimous that that's the least favorite of everyone's. Right? Because that's the one with Jar Jar Binks and no Time's one enjoyed that out. character. No? Am I, is that an unpopular opinion? That's no. time on the prediction table. Let's jump back to our bracket for round two. Penguins of Madagascar. Tom, Tom's Hanks is Rossetti. Really? Tom's Hanks? Well, I mean, you wouldn't want to show the little kid a bootleg of a non-existent movie. <laughs> the lead keeps changing hands. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow. This wow. Seems like it's over before it's done. It is a worst pick. Yo, this is crazy. Yeah, it wasn't even close. Imagine, this is like the sleeper strat here. Whoever picked this is pretty smart. Liam Neeson is in episode one. I did like Liam Neeson. He's my hero. Our winner moves on to the final, but let's find out what they'll face off against. Pee Wee Herman's Big Adventure or Star Wars? Yeah, I would never show a kid Pee Wee Herman's. <laughs> Didn't he have a couch with like a face on it? Yeah. And didn't he have a bicycle? Did have a bicycle. And I mean, didn't... more things you kind of remember. I kind of remember he had suspenders. This one's looking over. Remember, and he was Fishburne? a skinny white man. Yeah. Lawrence Fishburne, what? What? He was in Pee Wee Herman. Mm. 
I don't know too much about Pee-wee Herman. No, I know, I gotta go get all the box sets now. Would make the best game for one of those trendy escape the room experiences. Huh. I hope your answer still makes sense. And now the definitive matchup. Don't do it. I'm not even gonna Here's vote favorite. until the end. Oh, this is tough. Escape room experience of Kiwi, Kiwi Herman's Herman? house would make a very good escape room. But you don't even Just know anything about Tom's Hanks is Rossetti. I don't. No one does. It doesn't make any sense, but it went so far. You did it, Err. Good job. Err. Wow. Knock off Tom Let's Hanks. Tom's Hanks. That was killer. Oh, dang. Yo, Biwa coming through with the Mr. Rossetti. And then Ur capitalizing on Tom's Hanks with Mr. Rossetti. Wow, out of nowhere. Good job. Good job. Good job. Spirited Away, Pride and Prejudice, Harry Porter. I don't think I've ever seen Harry Porter. That was good. That was pretty fun. Did you guys like that one? <laughs> Dang, you guys are awesome. That was funny though. I like the prompt. The first prompt was pretty funny to me. Is there any more in there? Uh, yeah, there's more. What are we doing? Uh, Fibbage, monster seeking. Mon I don't like that one. Uh, bracketeering, Fibbage was good. Civic Doodle. Uh, That's, I don't too know about that. to play That's too hard to play. That's too hard to play, yeah. I don't really want to do any drawing ones. I like drawing silly things on uh, different games, so. I won't be partaking in that. All right, what else we got? You want to do Lice Water? I think Lice Water can work. Mm -hmm. Lice Water is a good one because we could have so many people in the audience. Mm -hmm. I think it's like 99, 999 people. I don't know if it's that many, but yeah. All right, let's see what's going on. That was cool. What do you guys think? Was that fun? <laughs> Jackbox games. All right, here we go, Lice Water. Uh, one, Alexia, Korea, hey. Hello. One to a hundred players. I don't know if I could send, like hide the code, but I guess this is gonna be everyone in, even viewers. What do you mean you can't hide the code? Because I don't think the first Jackbox games allow allows you to hide the code. Oh, maybe I can actually do this, though. Yeah, that's what this is. Isn't that what you did last time? I don't know. Let me see. Oh, yeah, you, I cannot hide this code whatsoever. So I'm going to slap this to all members really quick. And then we're going to go from there. Hey, Alexia, welcome. Thank you so much for coming. Uh, here we go. You got it? <laughs> Good. Okay. This is 100 people playing this game. You ready for this? All 100. right. 100. 100. Here we go. All right, you ready? Boom. It's going to be available for all channel members, mushroom tier and higher. The code is on the screen right now, okay? So we're going to leave that. I'm not going to... Oh my gosh, what happened? Hold on. How did that start? Hold on, hold on. No, 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 no. My bad. Okay, erase that. How did that start? If somebody can... Someone I... tapped like everybody's in. Yeah. Oh, well, don't hit any buttons. Yeah, don't hit any buttons. How about that? That was silly. All right, we're quitting that. Yeah, I don't know what happened there. All right, give me another second. Let me start up a new room. Because this is like the first Jackbox pack, so they didn't really understand that people would play this like on a stream. Okay. Let me see. I'm going to try this one more time. If it doesn't work, then I'm going to go to a different pack. You type the code in wrong. Mm-hmm. 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 Okay. You're in? I'm in. You have the ability to press it? Okay. All right. I'm going to trust that you guys don't click everybody's in. All right? The moment that someone play it, presses everybody's in, then it just cuts it off from everyone, which is kind of lame. So don't do that. All right. Here we go. Uh-huh. 
Why don't you write that on there? Yeah, here we go. Okay, code is on right here, available to all channel members. Boom. Okay, here we go. Click on refresh. You have the code. Don't press that button or else you're ruining it forever when we don't get to play this game. Got it. Okay, we got 30 people in. This is good. You guys are following directions. 33 people in. I'll give you guys like another 20 seconds. Do, do, do. All right, anyway. 37. Is that it? Just 37 people? Okay, that's cool. 38. All right, here we go. You guys ready for this code? It's going to be available on the screen for everyone to join in. We gave members priority. Someone clicked everybody's in. All right, well, that's what we're playing with only 40 people. Good job. You know who you are. We'll all play, I guess, right? Can we play in the audience? The Maybe. Height of an Amsterdam resident is six foot four. No, I don't think so. Amsterdam seems tall. Amsterdam? People. The average height of the Amsterdam resident is six foot four. That's an average. Yeah, they're very tall. How many people in Amsterdam? And that's an average. No, absolutely not. GG's. Gloria Estefan was a reference on Shaq's application for the Miami Beach Police. I'll believe that. You guys are more than welcome to join in. We have all those spots there. 79, 80, 88, 91, 92. Remember the drag queen called me Gloria Estefan? Mm -mm. Yo, local Karen. <laughs> You're fast. Dang. Thomas Edison collected doll heads. Thomas Edison collected doll heads. True or false? Yeah, I think so. It's like we gotta wait till everyone like clicks it. No, he didn't. What did you think? I think he lied. Martha Stewart is a licensed mortician. Martha Stewart, a licensed mortician. Why would she have to do that? Because sometimes she takes pictures of cows and labels them with the letter L. Yeah, what was that? Martha does what Martha wants. I don't care about her. She doesn't care about you either. I hope so. I hope she wouldn't care about me. Good. Yeah, that's right. Give me that. The first MI6 spy interviewed on TV revealed his identity when his mustache fell off. Oh, no. If that was true... His mustache felt no. I, hmm, I clicked on true too early rather than thinking on it. Ew. Really? That portion was not televised. Yeah, it better not have been. Charlie Brown has an imaginary friend named Howard who regularly steals his shirt. Charlie Brown and Howard? I'm sorry. Well, isn't the man who created Howard Schultz? Yeah, but so does Howard it steal his it. shirt? I don't know why he would do that, but... Who the heck watches Charlie Brown? Uh... Oh, good. Dying. After the Hindenburg disaster, Congress passed the Bad Idea... <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, Bad Idea is like a subjective term. So I don't think that they would... Oh, it is Charles Schultz. <laughs> You're right. Not Howard. Someone's uh, name's Howard. Ch Charles Howard Schultz, sure. Whatever. The Bad Idea Act. Tom's Hanks did it. I know you would've. Everyone stands at the end of round one. Here's your tops. Who's behind you? I don't know. Oh gosh, me. Chris and Dan. Not even your next seven backed categories. Ikea. Ikea is Swedish for living room. Mm -hmm. Any uh, people sweet speak Swedish out there? Throw me a bone. I'll be the last one to answer any of these points. Open up another tab. With your dual screens. With your LG dual screen V60. I don't 
thinks so. That's right. Way to go, Marcel. Marcel, Marcel. The size of the CD was chosen so it could hold all of Beethoven's Ninth Symphony. I don't think so. I think it's true. No, the size of a CD is very... How many gigs can fit on a CD? I don't know. Maybe like one gig? What's a CD? <laughs> That's true? What? No way. No, I didn't believe it. Fake news. While kissing is determined in the womb. That's fascinating if it's true. Better not be true. Determined in the womb. So, so early like on. The baby's head twists one way or the other, maybe? Mm, no. Doesn't I don't think so. Fake. No, I don't think so. Show me the science. Yeah, right. Google it. Lies. Most people internet. turn to the right. Gone with the wind originally took place during the American Revolution. Yeah, I don't know. What's up, Arctic Empoleon? Hey, hey, how are you? Welcome. Thanks so much for becoming a member today. I just like press the button. I'm out here pressing buttons on these. 50-50 shot. It is. And that's how you got to play this game, unfortunately. Dang, Sierra, you knew that one? Nashville, Tennessee was torn down and rebuilt three miles away. That seems real. Nashville. Why would it be? Oh, you know what? I should have said yes. I don't know. Maybe it burned down and they. And they're like, it's too, it's too burnt over here. We can't inhabit it anymore. Knock it the rest down. Yeah, Nashville. Why not? Is that right? I don't know. No, it's not right. Yo, Sarbear. A Russian knockoff brand of Hot Pockets is called Warm Holes. No, I don't think Very that better so not hope be. It's true. That better not. Warm Holes? No. Oh my lord, if that's true. Um, but it has to be in like in Russian though. Well, yeah. Like, you have to. That's where they're selling it. No way. Good, ah. I was gonna say. Just say everything is true over here. Dirty Dancing was originally going to be sponsored by Clearasil. That seems right too. I would say yeah. Everything Clearasil. seems right. Clearasil. This is the the movie, right? Yeah. Not the uh, the concept. <laughs> I'm gonna sponsor a concept. They got enough money. Sixty. That's sixty percent of us got it right. Uh-huh, interesting. Here are your scores. Yo, some of you guys are doing some work today. Hey, you. Good job. I got a lot of uh I'm not doing like the fast ones, but I'm pretty accurate. Round, all the facts will be about one category. That category is Shaq rap lyrics. Which of these are actual <laughs> rap lyrics wrapped by Shaq? And which ones did we make up? Shaq. <laughs> my man Kobe is my BFF. Shaq don't know Kobe. And Shaq stopped rapping. Unless Shaq is actually rapping nowadays. Kobe's not relevant back in the day. I don't know too much about Shaq and rapping. All I know is Shaq Fu. What's up, Sonic Tonic? Hey, hey, Sonic Tonic's in the house. Happy birthday, me. Thank you. <laughs> Super Shaq a fragilistic XP Shaq a do Shaq. <laughs> I'm gonna. I said yes! I don't know <laughs> he Everything is yes. That's not a rap, though. Why oh. would I say yes because I wanted it to be true? Because if you want to hear Shaq say that. I can XP Shaq a do Shaq. I guess if you say it in like a rap term. Yeah, you just got I knew it! Dang it! I Everything wanted it. Everything is true. I rhyme so wild, they call me Ace Ventura. Yeah, you know what? Because that Shaq used to rap in the 90s when Ace Ventura was a thing. That makes sense. I rhyme so wild they call me Ace Ventura. Is there like a follow-up line that rhymes with that? Because that's not really flowing, Shaq. I don't know if Shaq... That has to be true. What?! What do you mean? Oh my god. Everything gosh. is a lie! Why? Shaq didn't rap. Yo, I gets busy, packs more speed than K Reeves. No. Watch this one be true. Yo, I, I said, gets busy, I gets busy, packs more speed than K Reeves? It doesn't flow right. But like, I don't know Shaq's rapping career. 
I swear it. Oh my lord, the one time I say false, it's true. That's a line from my style, my stilo. Forget Tony Danza, I'm the boss. That feels like that that does feel like it's kinda like early nineties, Tony Danza. The Go Gamers, the Go Gaming Gang. What's up? Thank you. The one time I did terrible this time around. Apparently I don't know Shaq. Except for those uh remember Shaq's like rapping on like the and he's got the headphones on? And he's like on a turntable. Too young for that, sorry. No, it's it's recent now. I'm the devil with a razzmatazz. 360 slam dunk just like Taz. I hope that's true. He too. rhymed Taz with Taz. Get out of here. Onesie versus two. No, no, it doesn't work. What's up, the dog's nose? Hey, thanks for the hippo super sticker. Dala loves hippos. I do. But you guys know what I'm... Hands up in the comments if you know what I'm talking about, where, like, Shaq is over here, like, jamming out to, like, some tunes with the headphones, and he's got a turntable, and it, like, mixes it. Right? Tell me. Thumbs up. You've seen that. And then what people do is like it's a meme where they take the music, they take the music out, and they replace it with funny music or cool music. And then they see Shaq jamming out to this music. Are you? I have to look this up now. Are you kidding me? That one was true. I lost interest in Shaq. Let's see the final scores. Ender is the actual number one Shaq fan. Ender! You were curious. Owns all Shaq's records. <laughs> okay, hold on. Hold the phone, everyone. I have to school you in the art of memes right now. Way to go. No, we're not playing. You're going to see seven... Hold the phone. Alright, y'all y'all ready for this? Arm pump, like. <laughs> okay, that's actually not good. Sorry, that's not good because, like, when he turns up the dial halfway through the meme, then like the music has to change like super crazy, and it doesn't. So it's not that great of a meme. Like, I'll give that like a six out of ten. Hold on, hold on. Uh, hold on. I will find something really quick. Okay, hold on. Let's go back. <laughs> I have to find another one. This actually is really funny. Hey, send me a Shaq meme on Twitter right now with some good music on it, all right? Um, Nintendo Shaq music. Let me see what comes up in the search. No, uh, Nintendo. Wasn't it like Lilat or something? Lilat Shaq. Yeah, here we go. This, this one's the, this one's the jam. Here we go. This is the one that I saw in my timeline once. <laughs> Whoa, hold on, hold on. I gotta turn it down a little bit. It's a little loud. Check this out. Okay, you ready? Ready. Brace yourself for this. Look. Sorry. Don't be sorry, it's your birthday. Enjoy it with Shaq. D 
Okay, all right, fine. Back to the games. You guys don't even know DJ Shaq. You don't even know DJ Shaq. Just saying. Anyway. <laughs> How have you guys not seen DJ Shaq? Um, memes are the best. Okay, uh, I think we're gonna do maybe one more, one more, um, one more game. What are you guys gonna do? Split the room? That's one of my favorites. Oh yeah, Shaq needs like some bubblegum KK. Yeah, oh my gosh, imagine. I think someone has already done it though. All right, we're back. Here we go, last game, and then we're calling it a day. Thanks so much for watching. Megan H, happy birthday. Hey, Megan H, thank you for the birthday wishes. All right, Don Marie Frank, your son's birthday's tomorrow? Oh, cool. Cool, happy birthday. Almost birthday, twins, eh? Yeah, yeah. Split the room is one of my favorite ones. A player, split the room. Room code hiding. Alright, we're in. Split the room. I think you guys would like this one. Okay, here we go, ladies and gents. Uh, this one I'm going to post to Fireflower tier and higher. Actually, yeah, yeah, I could. Fireflower tier and higher. Or should we do everyone? We'll do everyone. How about that? Psst, all members, join the party. you all have an equal shot of joining in. But do me a favor, if you've already played in another round before, regardless of what other game it is, do me a favor and please sit out. This is our last game, and I want to be as fair to everyone as possible. Thank you. Here we go! Alright. Oh, dang. Someone's the VIP. Here it is. You ready for this one? Oh. No, it's fine. You're good. It doesn't matter. Hello. Hello. What's up, Daniel Luces? How are you? I hope you're doing well. Thank you for the birthday wishes. You are awesome. Okay, so here we go. This one is going to be for all channel members. Your code is on the community tab post now. So click on refresh, type that code in, do me a favor again. Family friendly, rule number one. Rule number two is don't be a community room hog. If you've already played, sit out so, so someone else can join in. Deal? Deal. Is the can empty now? Um, no, the can is not empty. Okay, so it looks like there's a, there's a lot of people, and there's a lot of people in the audience, so we've made it. Hello, hello, hello. All right. <sighs> okay. So the, you guys can absolutely participate in the audience as well, and I want you guys to. There's a lot of you guys here still. Thanks so much for hanging out this evening on the Birthday Bash 2020. Okay, hang out in the audience by entering that room code. You guys can actually vote on what's happening in the game. Feel free. We've got Abby with five Ys. Who's Abby? We got Michelle, who's Michelle? Hamza's in the house, cool, Mighty Ming, who's JS and Bryson? Let me know who you guys are. I know who Hamza is and I know who Mighty Ming is. What's up, Raid Pirate? Welcome, happy birthday me, and hello, Jess. Hello, you. Hello, me. Hello, me. Okay, me, Abby, Michelle, Hamza, Mighty Ming, JS, who's here? Okay, so Abby's Abby, Bryson's Bryson. Great. So I need to know who G JS is and My Michelle. Guess is this person. Who's this? JS? Oh, is that Jaden S? Maybe? I don't know. I need to know. It's my guess. I don't know. Do you want to hit this A button? Yeah, we can press the A button. All right, here we go. You guys can listen to the rules. Meow. Do not be startled. I am here to guide you as we Heather, hey, what's up? Of your mind. Hey, thanks for enjoying. Thanks for enjoying the content, Heather. Thank you so much. And your thumbs. A hypothetical situation missing one key part will be transmitted to your device like this one. Ads before online videos have been banished. In their place are 15-second videos of this. 
They are not skippable. Is life better? There are infinite possibilities you could write in to complete this scenario. Choose wisely, though, because everybody else will then answer yes or no. And you will earn more points if you split the room. Fitting name, huh? For those of you in the audience, you'll be competing as one player. Your answers will be determined by a majority vote. Yes, even in a nebulous void, democracy is important. At the end of the game, the person who creates the most divisive dimensions will win. Got it? Good. Now let's begin. Join us, UVNB, jackbox.tv, okay? You guys can all be part of the audience. Is possible. Free, to so don't fact Free to play, you don't need any game. Tyson. You just it's grab your phone and log in. Split the room. Split the room, the scenario okay? that was sent to your device. So we got one minute. Take your time. Or write the first thing you think of. Take your Whatever time. Whatever works for you. I don't really the like internet. And remember, you're trying to split the room. You don't want some like one-sided answer where everyone's gonna choose it. I don't know. Hurry up. Time's running out. Look. Hi. Ant. Dropping by to say happy birthday in the middle of uh, Pathfinder 2E campaign. But I'll be back for TTYD tomorrow. Have a good night. Hey, thank you so much. Here's one Thanks I like super to call chat. The Challenge. A new social media movement encourages people to post a video of themselves doing this. Smelling your dad's dirty to socks. For hepatitis B. It is well known that you support this cause. Do you participate? Yeah, it seems pretty easy. That's not too bad. I would absolutely do it. Smelling your dad's socks. They're dirty. That's not bad to raise awareness for hepatitis B. Smell my socks anyway. Yeah, whatever. Smell them. What would you guys do? Smelling and like, uh, yeah, yeah, you know, I think I'd do it. Let's see how it goes. Would you do it or would you not do it? It has to be divisive. Well, it's pretty divisive because not everyone's voted, so he's gonna get points for how long it takes for people to vote. Unless somebody left the room. Yeah. Oh, dang. Okay, the audience even voted that way. Not bad. The longer it takes the room to answer, the more bonus points you get. I got some pretty big bonus points. Not bad at all. Smelling your dad's socks. You didn't see this coming. You're suffering from a serious case of deja vu. Every single day you experience intense periods of this phenomenon. The only way to stop it is by doing this. Huh. Is it worth it? <laughs> Experience intense periods of this phenomenon every single day. The only way to stop it is by loudly farting. Uh, I want to change my answer, but anyway. <laughs> So what do we think? You're suffering from a serious case of deja vu every single day experience intense periods of this. The only way to stop is to, is to do that. Like, okay. Interesting.
Yeah, right, you need more fine print, right? So by doing that, does it stop it for the whole day? Is it... Is it... <laughs> I see... I, I misclicked. Jess! Alright, you can have my split point. Thank you. Yeah, right, like, is it one and done? You're done for the day? Like, I don't know. The price of playtime. I don't know. Your older dog had lost interest in everything until you got her a new squeak toy. When chewed on, it yelps out this. <laughs> okay. She plays with it a lot. Do you keep it? Well, I mean, there's only one thing. Like, there's a lot of there's a lot of factors, right? It yelps out. How loud is the yelp? Sub to Abdallah! Exclamation mark! Exclamation mark! Exclamation mark! Yeah, well, um, that's cool. It must be pretty loud if there's three explanation points. And she plays with it a lot. Well, I mean, that's your dog. And if your dog wants the squeaky toy and has lost interest in everything, and you found this new subscribe to Abdallah toy, I think it would be in your best interest to give it to your dog. I'm selling it so hard. I like talking about all these. See, like it makes sense. Right? It's not mine. I can't vote for my own. Hamza. All right. Interesting. It's yeah, you can wear headphones. Spooky dooky. Every time you poop, you extract a fifty-dollar bill. Unfortunately, this also comes out. Do you endure this pain for at least a month before you see a doctor? <laughs> Do you endure this pain for at least a month? At least a um, month. 30 days of pooping out a $50 bill. Yeah, whatever that amount is. I don't care. I don't know. And three tablespoons of hot sauce also comes out. Well, see, that might hurt on the way out. I think that, like, <laughs> I would see out. a doctor the instant a $50 bill came out of my butt. <laughs> <laughs> Although that's actually kind of funny. I'm going to give a, a paw thumbs up to that one. Yeah, that was very good. That was really hilarious. Three tablespoons of hot sauce. Some of you need to know what kind of hot sauce in order to make that decision. Really? Is Which that is right? Which interesting to okay, me. Okay, like, interesting. That was a decent split. That's the best split we've had so far. Two for six. And now, very good. That was a good filtered one. thirty days though. A new photo filter literally adds this to the person you photograph. The effect lasts for two hours. Your angsty son asks you to take his picture before prom. Do you use the filter? Okay, literally adds a different angle to the person you photograph. It lasts for two hours. Yeah, who cares? Yeah. Yo, that's your son before prom. Why wouldn't you take a picture that automatically turns into a different angle? What's up, Cat Likes Books? I like books too. Wow, what a cool username. We have lots in common already. Hello, Cat Likes Books. Hi, welcome. So this is just, it just changes the angle. It's not a big deal. A little bit of this, a little bit of this. Yeah, whatever. And that's your son before prom. Gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah, right, come on. That's not too bad. Ow. What else? Okay. Dang! Bryson, what you doing, man? You wouldn't do that for your son? Man, you must not Bryson like your son. Goes with the of yeah, I don't know. What's up? What's up with that, Bryson? <laughs> Answer. Up next is use your head. There's an 80% chance that getting hit in the head with a cinder block will make you a savant at this activity. Do you have someone throw a block at you? <laughs> what are you... What game are we playing here? <laughs> uh, hey, S. Luna, what's going on? I hope you had a wonderful birthday today. Hey, hope we'll meet up soon. Yeah, let's hope so. Thank you so much for the super chat. You don't have to do that. Absolutely not, but thank you. I'll make sure to not bring a cinder block and make you a savant at Joe's Crab Shack if I do see ya. 
No promises, though. 80% chance. I mean, that's a pretty high percent chance for me to be a savant at Joe's Crab Shack. At Joe's Crab Shack? What does that even mean? Like, you, you're just like... You go in there and you... Like, do you have the menu? Members? Yeah, do you know the menu? You know how to cook everything? Hey, what's up? The dog's nose. Sorry, I can't save for the whole stream. I have to go to bed. Hey, don't worry. We're all going to bed right now anyway. So this is the last run. Yeah, that sounds great. Abby, you would have gotten hit in the head with a cinder block. Abby. 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 Let's, let's talk about that. To be a savant at Joe's Crab Shack. And now, Binge Pipe presents... Laughter That Needs Medicine. After a mysterious illness, you discover that when you laugh, it sounds like this. It is extremely <laughs> loud and cannot be stifled when you find something amusing. Do you get tickets to see your favorite comedian live? <laughs> see, that is a good prompt. Yeah. That's a good prompt. Because, like, look, if you're laughing at the sound of Donald Duck and your favorite comedian. He's and it's, totally gonna call you yeah, out. Yeah, he's gonna call you out for that and you're gonna feel so embarrassed. Or you're gonna feel like you're on top of the world because you got called out by your favorite comedian. So it's a very divisive split. Sounds like Donald Duck. I think that prompt is just really good. It's a good prompt. I don't think you can... Yes, you can. I don't think you can make that an extremely one-sided. Go ahead and try. How are you gonna make that one-sided? Remove Donald Duck and say something else. I think this one's a really... It's a shoe in prompt. Is it? I think so. Look at that! Look at that split. Look at that! That was a good one. Who's this winner? I told you. Dinner? Mighty Ming! That's right. That was a good split. Dang. This scenario is called... What's yours is mine. You are given the opportunity to steal this person's ability to do this. If taken, they will permanently lose it, but will never know it was you. Do you take it? Why wouldn't you? Well, for starters, I, I'm not sure who JS is, but if you have the ability to fly, it's coming to me. Sorry. I'm out of here. And he'll never know it was me, so who cares? Whatever. You don't get to fly anymore. Sorry, man. Yo, enjoy these wings! Catch these wings, JS! <laughs> You're flying right over your house, man! <laughs> True? False? What would you guys do? I don't- we- we haven't found out who JS is. You get to steal JS's ability to fly. That means it belongs to you. Bryson, man. Bryson's like, nah, nah, JS worked really hard for his ability to fly. I'm not gonna take his wings. <laughs> this one is called... Oh, Jen Smith is JS. Bad. Got you, Jen. All right, all right, I got you, I got you. you Sorry I had to clip your wings. Form of amnesia. Every morning you lose your entire memory, but you instantly regain it when you see this. Do you leave your morning self a note explaining what has to be done? An odd form of amnesia. No need for a note. Cats are there when I wake up every day. Uh-huh. Every morning you lose your entire memory, but you instantly regain it when you see your cat. Do you leave your morning self a note explaining what has to be done? They're the first things I see in the morning, every morning. Your cat. My cat. You have no cat. I don't know. What if you don't have a cat? Then you're not gonna remember. Then you lose all of your memory? King, Bi King Milo wouldn't let you not see him in the morning. <laughs> Just feed me. Stand on your head until you feed me. Holy cow! Look at you! What? Why did one of them break in the middle? That's supposed to be a super split. where everybody stacks up at the moment. Yo, I got robbed. Yeah, you did. I got robbed, Mighty Ming. It's on, man. We've reached the decisive dimension. Everybody will be presented with a new type of scenario. There will be two options to choose from. Door number one is already provided. You will decide what's behind door number two. 
Remember, you want to make it as hard of a choice as possible. Oh, and if you correctly predict a certain player's decision, you'll earn some bonus points. Let's begin. Right Y'all ready? That you think only some people would choose. It's got to be decisive. You got a minute. You don't want it to be one-sided. Think about your prompts carefully. Or just answer the first thing that pops in your head. No, don't do that one. That's what I do. All of these games. Concept and it's running out. I had a choice of choosing something funny that would have gotten a lot of audience votes towards it because of how funny it was, or something that's divisive. Which one did you I choose? You're about to make a selection on a magical jukebox. The, the bartender warns you that the lyrics of the song will predict the events of your life over the next week. You can play "It's Raining Men" or this. Which prophetic it's song It's Raining Men. You choose? It's Raining Men or Thrift Shop. What are the lyrics in that song? Oh, it's Raining Men? No, Hallelujah. Thrift Shop. It's Raining Men. I know what happens when it rains men. What's the Thrift Shop lyrics? At like 50 Cent or something stupid? No, it's the Macklemore. Oh, I don't care about that guy. I'll listen to Raining Men all day. I'm talking about the weirdly complicit bartender. But this is like... The lyrics come true in the future. What lyrics do you want to come true in the near future? Into the Unknown? I don't know that song. But do we want it to rain men? That's gonna be terrible. They're all going to die. Because they can't land with terminal velocity. It's gonna be a, a show. If it was raining men, uh, do the men have parachutes? Are they just gonna splat on the ground? What kind of men are they? Tall, dark, strong. Are they like tiny men? And what happens if he lands on you? You just earned some bonus points. What happens if the little man lands on you? You're dead. Actually, you know what? I would never pick It's Raining Men. I'm out of here. You already picked it so many times. I know, I did. What's YMCA? Y What's the song about, though? You can hang out with all the boys, right? Or? Right? I don't know. Now that I'm now that I spelled out the imminent death nice. of it's raining men, no one's choosing it. And I just lost because of that. <laughs> Let's switch things up. Aliens abducted you and are about to harvest a piece of your brain for research. They give you a choice of losing the part of your brain that allows you to enjoy music or the part that does this. Which Oh, I would have loved this prompt better. For you it's raining men? I would have said like playing video games. Enjoy music or enjoy walks? Um, see ya. One's gotta go! It's a tough one, though. That yeah, yeah. Choice. What brain function do you lose? Oh, my feet. I, you know, this prompt is way better than the music song one. Dude, because it's raining men, that's terrible. Look at that perfect split! Yo, JS! Jen! Nice no job. For you. That was really good. Those steps. I know, right? Have to get those steps. The ability, the function to read a map. 
Well, it clearly didn't have that today. Yeah, well, I mean, Google just tells me, like, turn left at the upcoming street. I don't have to read. I can listen to a map. Adios, the ability to read a map. <laughs> I'm out of here. <laughs> yeah, see, uh, yeah, that one was uh, mm, a little good. rough. No split on that one. You didn't see that coming. Write by hand. Who writes by hand anymore? I'm out of here. See ya. Nope. I just type. I'll just write email. Oh, see, baby boy fell off your chair. Email only. The digital age. To enjoy music? Why would you get rid of that? Yeah. I still write. Yeah, that's true. It's an email. Check your email. Hey, check your email. Now for something it's always different. there. You're the captain of a it's spaceship that has become too heavy. The only solution is to disengage the section containing the bathrooms or the part containing this. You are two months away from your destination. What do you get rid of? Two months, you get rid of the bathrooms? Oh my gosh. Or you get rid of the kitchen? Whoa, look at that split. Okay, okay, okay. Kitchen, kitchen. You can utilize the sink to go to the bathroom in. Yeah. But you have to eat. The bathroom in the kitchen? Yeah, you, you have to eat. You can find other places to deposit waste. But you have to eat. Wow, what a split. I Dang. Think, think it was, uh, that TV show? The house? Uh, space. I don't know. Beds? <laughs> Get rid of beds, man. I sleep on the floor. Avenue 5. Avenue, Avenue 5, yes. That show on HBO. <laughs> That's a good show. Jet setting people out because <laughs> they didn't think it was real. Yeah, uh, beds? <laughs> sleep on the floor, man. Oh, Forget I that. Forgot. Get rid of everyone's Sorry. bed. You sleep on the floor, you grab your clothes as a pillow, you bunch it up, you're all set. That was an easy... It's an easy one. Alright, here we go. Give me a decisive one. The bedrooms. Mm. Whatever. You sleep in the hallways. Get rid of the bedrooms. <clears throat> Get rid of the bedrooms. Bryson. Same wavelength with bed and bedrooms. Comes down to this. It all comes down to this. Oh, who's gonna win it? Oh my gosh! Here's your winner, winner, chicken dinner. Good job. Way to go, Hamza. Nice job. Who's going in the litter box? Most likes for Mighty Ming. Thumbs up from a cat. Who's in the. Bryson is in the litter box. Oh, <laughs> oh well. All right, guys, that's it for me. Thanks so much for watching. It, uh, it was a really fun time. Thank you for all of your birthday wishes, all of our brand new members that came on board. Thanks for coming. Uh, maybe we'll do something like this uh, next year. Who knows? But uh, yeah, we got a lot going on for tomorrow, so I'm going to go to bed. So we got a head start on that. Have a great rest of your day. Thank you for all the super chats, all the brand new members. You guys are amazing. Have a good night. Good internet. If you guys uh, enjoy this kind of uh, live stream where we hang out with members and, of course, a very awesome live audience and we play these kinds of fun games, be sure to smash that like button. By doing so, it shows me that you guys want more of this content. We'll see you later. Have a good rest of your night. Thanks for coming.